in this video we are going to discuss about the NAT operations so here if you see that the basics of NAT operations will help you to know how this NAT operates and also about the understanding to develop here so what happens in this basic NAT operation is can be seen in this diagram you see the PC is connected to the router and the router is connected to the internet and here the server is also connected to the internet here so you see the PC IP address is 192.168.1.2 and also you can see the inside interface of router 1 is given with the IP address 192.168.1.1 and the outside IP address of the interface FA01 is 67.210.97.1 and it is connected to internet and from there the server is connected to internet with the IP address 173.194.67.102 so this is the basic NAT operation diagram and you can see the packets how they are traveling the packet 1, packet 2 is from the inside interface to the outside interface and from outside interface to the inside interface here so this is, this is the router which performs the NAT so we will discuss in detail here that we have defined several terms related to NAT. So, we have defined several terms in related to NAT and how it works and here you can see that FA0 slash 0 as the inside interface and FA0 slash 1 is the outside interface. So, you see the NAT address types given clearly that inside local is given as 168.1.2 and inside global is given at 97.212 and outside local with 67.102 and outside global is 67.102 again here. So here if you see, so let us try to understand the basic of how it works. The IP packets traveling back and forth between the packets, see the PC and the server as they move on, you can see a drastic change that R1, the router performing the NAT operation. So the router which is having the inside and outside interfaces and will be transferring the packets to and froth here. So, in, in simple words, IP address in the header of the IP address get rewrite with the R1, also keeping in mind that the record of these rewrites or translates in the table is known as, not surprisingly, the translation table. So, here the header of the inside and outside to and froth packet translation will see about the IP address getting translated to and froth here. And coming, you can see clearly that the destination IP address is left untouched because here you can see the outside local and outside global address are both the same IP addresses here. So coming to the outside world, the packet appears to have originated from this IP address which is 67.210.97.212 and the inside local IP address is which is 168.1.2 is never known to the outside world. So, the incoming IP address of the interface and the outgoing of the global interface will be not knowing to the outside world, but the interchanging of this IP address of FA0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 of R1 will be communicated to all the interfaces so that the network address translation operates in such a function and the router which translate this is called as R1 which uh, which is configured for the IP address FA00 and FA01. So, this is about the NAT operation. 